All new at 10. It's been a while since COVID made headlines, but the latest numbers are drawing concern from health officials. We're up to 144 new cases every day, and that's not counting people who don't get tested. Our Ben Gutierrez has the health alert. Here we are at the mayor's latest town hall meeting in YPO. When we looked around, we counted four people wearing masks. We may see more than that in the days ahead once people learn about the latest COVID counts. The state health department reports nearly 1,200 new COVID cases in the state last week. Positivity rates have climbed to 17 percent. Hospital admissions are up as well as emergency room visits. Basically, this new variant or these new variants are just very immune evasive. And so the protections that we had from before are not working as well. Infectious disease expert Tim Brown says the same variants now spreading in Hawaii have been wreaking havoc in Singapore, Australia and New Zealand. And that's what's producing this massive rise in cases, rise in hospitalizations, rise in wastewater. He worries that just as we saw throughout the pandemic, it takes a while for the public to start noticing the infection counts. Most workplaces have dropped all COVID precautions. At the mayor's town hall tonight, it was business as usual. The Special Olympic Summer Games will bring together hundreds of people this weekend. And at the Fest Pack opening ceremony tonight, thousands of Pacific Islanders shared their cultures and maybe more. It's unfortunately a nasty timing for those two events to overlap. Because it means we unfortunately could spend, send a lot of COVID back to the Pacific. And I really do worry about that. The city's medical first responders have seen the rise in possible cases. Our EMS calls are increasing. Um, we do get more 911 calls because people are sick. State epidemiologist Sarah Kemble is recommending that people get the latest COVID vaccine. Tim Brown says not many have. 13.4% is the number for Hawaii, which is not very good. And, and it's a shame because the booster will, just like the flu shot, it will reduce the severity of your infection if you do get infected. COVID's out there, but there's a the flu, there's the common cold and so forth. So we want to just encourage people to be careful out there. Wash your hands. Um, if you are sick, stay home. Don't go to work. Take care of yourselves. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.